Alright guys, what up, it's your boy 1904 Comics. Today is Wednesday New Comic Book Day. And I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I got out of work early, went to the shop. And I know I was going to wait for the uh, Insoc Trades package to arrive in the mail, but like I said, I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I'm just going to knock this video out of the way. I read two of my issues from this week. They were pretty good. One was really amazing. One was, was alright. And then I got a trade paper back to show you. Two hardcovers. And that's pretty much my haul for this week. I will show you guys the in stock trades haul next week. It should get here sometime later on today in the next couple hours or so. But um, let's continue on with this haul. Now, one of the books, I didn't really get suckered into it, but I was shorted a book. And this writer did good with the title I was reading. So I picked that one up. And then um, I forgot one of them came out today. So yeah, anyways, continue with the haul. I'll explain a little bit more when I get to those issues. Jughead. Boom. Check it out. Issue number one. Now, the other Archie, you know, um, titles are pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to stick with this one. If I picked it up to see how it is. If it's pretty good, maybe I'll continue at least a couple more issues. The first arc or so. If it's just alright, maybe I'll just pick it up and trade. Here's a Batman Arkham Knight. Boom. I haven't read the annuals yet from last week, so I gotta read those first. He's a detective comics. Tomasi's finally on this. And um I'm really liking Arc Knight, so I'm expecting a pretty good story for that. Here's Starve. One of my favorite titles. I dig it. I like it, so that should be fun. Here's a Copperhead issue number ten. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah, this one has been a fun ride as well. So, then Bastards, this has to be one of my top books every time it comes out. Issue 11. Here's the one I forgot that came out. Boom. Nailbiter. I love this cover. And then check out the back. Little trick or treaters don't know what they're about to get. <laughs> Then we have two issues left, and I'll you know explain this room really quick. Maybe Spider-Man number one, six bucks. A couple reasons why I picked it up. One, uh, Dan Slot, he was writing uh, Renew Your Vows. I was liking that one, so like maybe you know that good storytelling rubbed off on this book. Two, I was short of Paper Girls. My shop didn't have it when I showed up. You know I usually go after work. Today I. Well, it's like 11 o'clock, 10.30 or something like that when I showed up. And, um, they didn't have it. My freaking shop opens at 10, so... Someone was either there super early, bought all of them, or they just got a couple. I don't know. But, that's pretty much the main reason I picked it up. And, um, it was okay. The only problem is... Check it out. Let me look for it really quick. Is he gets a normal, you know, $4 comic... And they're making, you know, Dan Slot was making a big deal on Twitter. Uh, well, you know, for two bucks more, you get 30 extra pages, or I forgot what it was. But, once again, it's just a bunch of crappy previews. I haven't read them, so I take that back. They could be great, little short stories. But, I'd rather save those two extra bucks and put it towards a comic I really want to read and not pay two extra bucks for, you know, a couple pages of short little stories of, well, I think it's Spider-Man 2099, Silk, Spider-Gwen, and I forgot what else. So, yeah. But the story itself, it was okay. I enjoyed it. It wasn't something that I'm going to say I'm going to put on my pool. I'll probably give one more shot, and then that's about it. But this book right here, it was a little bit more expensive. It was $7.99. But uh, every page had to do with turtles. There was no, oh, let's throw, you know, a couple previews of the miniseries that will be coming out and stuff like that. Nope. Every single page was Ninja Turtles. No previews. I mean, no uh, ads, anything like that. So, the story was freaking amazing, though. Um, You got to read it. I'm going to spoil it. So, fast forward about 15 seconds, all right? It's about to spoil it right now. Splinter beheads Shredder. Pretty freaking amazing. Or at least, you know, he slices his freaking head off or neck pretty good. Because, uh, let's see if I can find it. 
Check it out. Ready? Yeah. I know. Pretty crazy. But yeah, you gotta do this issue. Very good. Gives backstory and stuff like that. And it's been a little bit over 50 seconds. So, I'll stop. Freaking good. <laughs> Anyways, continue. This is a uh, Postal. Volume 1. I read it when I was at Disneyland. And, um... Forget the main guy's name. He has Asperger's. So he's a little socially awkward. But um, he's the mailman. He likes a chick at the cafe that works there. And you get to learn about his sister, his dad, his mom. And, you know, the town he lives in is pretty much like a bunch of ex-cons that live there. And pretty crazy stuff is going on. And I really like it. So I think the next volume comes out pretty shortly because I've seen it on... I think it was in stock trades, you know, on soon to be released or whatever it's called. So that's that. Here's a Punisher Max. This is volume two. Check it out. There's volume two. I got this one for. I got these two books I'm about to show you for 45 bucks. That was including shipping and stuff. So I think the book itself was like six or seven bucks. And um, I got it on Amazon under the used section. So I just gambled, and it's pretty freaking new. Like, I mean, nice, good pages, nice and new. Some of them are even stuck together still. So yeah, pretty happy about that. Let me take off the dust jacket real quick. And the book itself is pretty just plain. That's what it looks like. So yeah, that's that. Whoa, sorry about that. I just hit my screen. The next one is this bad boy, Hush, Absolute Edition. Check it out. Now let me take off the dust jacket on this one. And this one is pretty plain as well. But I kind of like it. And let's show off some of the amazing artwork here. This nice, beautiful, oversized format. Show you one more page. Just randomly flip to something and see what we get. Check it out. So, yeah, that's my haul for this week. I got three hardcovers, I think, next week to show you guys because my. In stock trades package should get here in just a little bit. I'm gonna take some medicine. I'm burning up. And um, yeah. Peace out, people. Like, subscribe, share. I'll be checking out your videos. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good one, people. Later.